Good eye, mate. It's time you knew. That's how you know this game's Australian. Did Ross do the mate. voice? Because <laughs> 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 he's a because yeah. he's Australian. Ross is Australian. A great battle with. You know that that great video Those game trope where there's like crystals or something that somehow gets scattered all over the yep. land and you got to go get them. Mm -hmm. So the world talismans world are gone, and his ancestors, the Aboriginal world people of Australia, world are speaking like to him now. Costs. Yeah. Like Pikmin, like uh, uh, the Chaos Emeralds type of deal, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ryan! Oh, jeez! We dude, just had nice. cheese pizza, bro! Oh, dude, I'm giving you a high five for that. Nice. Alright. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are Australians like dirty British people? Pretty much. They're dirty. <laughs> It's like if you put a bunch of British people on a dirty desert island and let them sit for a couple hundred years, they turn into that. Let them fester. Ugh, just to get just right. Brood in their own filthiness and <laughs> nasty ways. And, and and their censorship. You can't be racist against Australian people, right? It's not like a race of people. I don't think so. so it's not racist. When, when I when I picture Australians, like the best way to describe, the, I guess, the stereotype would be funny cowboys. <laughs> Like funny isn't like off, like not not normal yeah, or funny like isn't funny, like goofy, comedic. like goofy. I guess both. They like the funniness makes them funny. Just goofy, dirty cowboys. <laughs> goofy, dirty cowboys. That's all Australian people are. Sorry, Ross. You know it's true. <laughs> he always okay. comes in here with his big fucking gallon hat. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Are they called gallon hats? We'll see ya. Look at me go. I got another opal. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I got opal in Minecraft recently. Did you really? Yeah. Did Help. you actually get opal in Minecraft? No. Oh, I didn't know. Is that even a thing in Minecraft? I don't know. You want to talk about Minecraft the rest of the episode? Nah. Legitimate Minecraft discussion? No, it's fine. Take it. Sorry. How many hits before you die? Um, I got a little health thing. A little health meter. I don't see it. It's not showing right now. It's only when I get hurt. Uh, here, I'll get hurt just so you can... <laughs> But like, if you didn't know any better, look. look at look at this cute thing, right? Yeah, and, and then, then and then you push it the wrong way, and it does this shit. That is, why? Like, what 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 is it about that little area of the world that things open their mouths so big? Do Aboriginal people open their mouths that big? <laughs> Did they? No, of course. <laughs> it's really fucked up what happened to the Aboriginal people. They just got completely wiped off their own island and fucked with Windex. Get it? Because he said wiped off. Yeah, like the the, the British came and just squirted Windex in their <laughs> eyes. They all screamed and went to, over to Tasmania. <laughs> he said, "Ow!" It's in the history books. Look it up. And they got on a big boat and sailed to Tasmania. <laughs> oh, look at all those gems up there. Who? Ah, oh, you! <sighs> I'll try one more time. Oh wait! Hey, hey, hey calm down. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> fine. It's okay. Fuck. You, you know missed what? a gem, you missed a gem, you missed a gem! It's gone now, okay? There's no, there's right there! Okay, I got there's it. There's a gem in the cave! Well, I have to go this there's way, the arrow's uh... pointing this way. <laughs> Bite Is that a baby? This. Yeah, that's uh, you collect babies in this game. Wait a second. So, oh, you, they should have made you a dingo then. Ryan, that's messed up! No, I'm... Is that a not... true story? Did that really happen? Yes, it really happened, and that's why it's like fucked up whenever like people like in Hollywood or whatever make jokes like that. Baby ate my dingo! Or... <laughs> Dingo ate my baby. Wash out, we got a baby eating dingo around here. <laughs> got a dingo eating baby. There's an alternate universe where uh, the baby <laughs> ate the dingo. So a woman's baby really did get eaten by a dingo, and now it's just a big joke. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's horrible. They made fun of it in the in the fucking uh, Rugrats movie, remember? Just imagine being the mom of the baby that got eaten, and uh, like forever there's just a saying, like, baby ate my dingo. I said it again! Dingo ate my baby. I keep wanting to say baby ate my dingo. Keep your babies away from dingoes, you hear? I'm getting a call from Washington, D.C. right now. Oh, I got a call. Hold on, this might be from the president. Let me answer this. Hello? Urgent message. This is your... That your federal student loan forgiveness application is set to. Oh my god, yeah, this is for my federal student loans that I never took out. At least that isn't like the, uh. Oh yeah, you got a voicemail that I got this morning. Here it is. Arrest warrant issued under your name. So before we move forward with the law of suit and the legal allegation, contact us as soon as possible on 25320 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad how an automated messaging system would inform me that I have an arrest warrant on my- <laughs> <laughs> Call us to get it dropped. Send us money and you won't be under arrest. That's how the police operate. If there's an arrest warrant out, they send a computer to call you. 
What if the joke's actually on you and there really is one and they're just trying to give you a heads up and you ignore it and they actually burst down our door later and arrest Well, you? I woke up to that, so I wasn't fully thinking and my heart was racing this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what did I do? I can just see you like you're in bed and you're all groggy and you listen to that voicemail. Just about the, so there's a warrant out for your arrest. So but, it actually got you at first. Yeah, but then I looked up the number and then like, you know how the number ends in, of course, like, 08 or whatever, and like the same number, but 01, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, everything but 9 was seen as an unsafe number. Yeah, that that's a scam, because I actually saw a couple weeks ago uh, someone online talking about the same thing, where it's like, like the IRS has a warrant out for your arrest. So uh, if you guys get a call saying there's a warrant out for your arrest, you can probably ignore it, unless Be you've committed well, a felony. No, no, you you can't ignore it, because the IRS won't call you. They'll, they never call you, they do postal. They'll send you a letter saying, "Hey, we're gonna come arrest you tomorrow." No, they too. do. They 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 send letters out if anything's going on. They would. They, that's just a safety. Thing. We got we got letters from the IRS uh, recently saying that we had like nine dollars of unpaid taxes. <laughs> Whoops. They're like, if you don't pay these taxes, you're going to jail. It's like, okay, here's nine bucks, dude. Like, I feel like like why would you ever take a job at the IRS? Because like no one no one's gonna like you. I'm almost scared about like, saying think, this about the IRS, because then the IRS is going to come after us. Do you think the IRS, like, there's people that work there, and all of a sudden they make new friends. Like, oh, what do you do? I work for the IRS. And then they, uh, then the friends slowly start to kind of, like... Not talk to them. <laughs> yeah, they get a weed them out of their life. I'm sure that there's a... You know, someone watching this works for the IRS, and if you do, I just want to put it on record. I love the IRS. They're a great corporation, and I love cooperating with them. I also, I, I love the, uh... The IRS has many good people working there, and they they're very good for everyone. I love the IRA. IRS. Use not, the, not IRA, the IRA. Use the IRS today. Uh, Super Mega, sponsored by the IRS. Hey, if the IRS wants to shoot us some cash, <laughs> or we'll sponsor them if we just don't have to pay our taxes. Yeah, how about that? That's a good deal. Because you know we live in California, and California likes to make you pay like five thousand taxes. Exactly five thousand taxes. What is it? How do I beat this guy? Do, do you do you have to? Is there a ground pound? There we go. Got him. There's no ground pound in this game, Ryan. Well, would have made sense and would have made that battle a little more interesting, don't you think? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Cool. If this was real in the rainforest, I would love to uh, take a little take Get a little splinters dip. all up your ass. Oh god. Oh. I, that happened to me once, not up my like asshole, but I was on a, uh, there was like a half pipe someone had built, so I slid down it on my butt, and uh, a huge splinter just went right up my ass Ugh. cheek. Hurt really bad. I, I bled. I think I cried a little bit too. I'd cry. Yeah, that's, that's not fun. It was like sticking up, and I just went straight down it, and woo! Who pulled it out for you? Uh, it didn't get like stuck in me, it just sliced me up. <sighs> I like this game. I, I mean, like, I, I know a lot of people hate it. Uh, Do they? Barry says it's garbage, but... Wait, really? Yeah, Barry says this game is hot garbage. Why does he say it's hot garbage? He didn't give me a reason. He said it's hot garbage. Oh. Uh, and I said, Barry, it's fun, though. I, I like Ty. I like it a lot. And Barry doesn't know shit about video games, so... Fuck you, Barry! His favorite game is No Man's Sky. Yeah, that's really weird how that Isn't is. it? That's odd. As someone who talks about game design, it's weird that his favorite game would be No Man's Sky. But oh well. You know, we don't judge Barry, so... Does he have AIDS? Jafar Burton? No. No, La Lamar Burton. John Jafari Burton. <laughs> Does he have AIDS though? I don't. I, think... For some reason, I have this idea in the back of my head that he has AIDS. I. He might. I don't know. A lot of people have AIDS. Unfortunately. I mean, it's not as bad as it is as it was. AIDS is the new trendy accessory, dude. Whoa! Fuck. <laughs> AIDS is the new trendy accessory. Don't quote me on that. No, no. I mean, it was for a while. I mean, like... Everyone wanted AIDS. No, just in Hollywood. Like, it was this big topic, and it wasn't, like, oh. used, I don't believe, to help with the cause or help, you know, build up... It was just kind of like, well, AIDS is popular. At first, AIDS was gross, and now it can be used to make people cry in movies. AIDS? Have you seen Philadelphia? Uh, no, but I know that's probably a good film. I'm more talking about, like, Rent and stuff like that. This is like Indiana Jones and the Bloody Wanker. <laughs> 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 Damn, dude. This is a furry's wet dream. Would you mind keeping 
Oh, oh I bet all over DeviantArt there's some Whoa. good uh, some drawings of her. Wait, you're just doing this to protect a water bottle? Yeah, these guys want to take her water bottle. The only reason I'm doing it is because she's hot. Why can't she just run away? They don't go fast. She's right there. Can't she just grab the water bottle and slide down the slippery waterfall? Is she just waiting for them? I like, think so. Oh, no. She's like, oh, no. She's got Princess Peach Syndrome. Boing. Hold on. Everyone, we got Barry Kramer in the room. Does Barry, this game suck? will you tell me why you think this game sucks? <laughs> yeah. Look at it. What do you mean, look, what do you mean, look it, at this it? This is like, this it. from the early 2000s. It reminds me of like, like Rayman 64. Yeah, which also wasn't good. Okay, Barry, why, okay, okay Barry. Why, why, is, <laughs> why is it bad to you? I just want to make everyone angry. That's my, that's my goal. You better leave before you have to explain yourself. Yeah, no, it's fine. As long as you're having fun, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. You're having fun? Bye, guys. But you're not even watching them play. Nope, you, will, you. will you watch the full Let's Play on nope. supermega.com slash YouTube? Well, he left. All right, good, good riddance. Rex is a big testament to this game because he's the first African American character to be ported into a PlayStation game. <laughs> it's the first African American character in any PlayStation game. That's progress. Being an anesthesiologist is like a super extreme career because there's people like that's their only job. Extreme! Wow! We're gonna put you to sleep today, bro! I'm just getting my stitches in my leg. Fun fact! There's a 5% chance you won't wake up! What? <laughs> Puts the mask on you before you can, like, eject. <laughs> Whoa, doesn't this feel weird? Whoa! Countdown from 100, dude! Okay, realistically, if you posted a picture of yourself on Craigslist, like your face, and a picture of your asshole, and you said, looking to get my ass eaten out, how many, like, Pictures how, included. Yeah, like, how quick do you think you would get a response? Pretty quickly, just because there are weird people on Craigslist, and if it's not a person that actually wants to do that, it's gonna be like some serial killer or something that definitely is like this person doesn't have any sort of any sort of uh, social skills. Yeah, uh, they're obviously not safe on the internet and don't know how to use it correctly. Right. Do you so uh, it, it would be easier to slit, you know, their their calves. I'm gonna slit your calves, boy. <laughs> I had this guy that worked at my cafeteria in high school named Kevin. There was this tale of, uh, he was in the bathroom at the urinal once, and, uh, this kid I knew walked up, like, into the bathroom, and Kevin pointed in the urinal, and there was some cum in the urinal, and he went, Man, splooge! And then walked out. <laughs> why was there cum in the I urinal? I don't know, it might have been his. Someone had the- why wouldn't you masturbate in the stalls? I don't know. That means if someone to, had if to you stand were, in the urinal and jerk off. If you were to masturbate in a public restroom, not saying I have, but you'd have to do one of the stalls for definitely. privacy. Yeah, oh, definitely. You gotta have privacy if you're gonna masturbate in a pub. Privacy place. and just common decency. Unless, I mean, like, you're into the whole, you know, not private in a public place. Which, if you are, that's not very cool. Shouldn't do that, because there's other people around. Oh, haha! -ha. He is trying to eat you. You Damn said- it. you said they didn't. I just want to say, Tom Kenny, if you're watching this, I love you so much, and I hope you enjoy our Spongebob series. You're a sweet man. If you want to hold the camera for one of our vlogs, we're always looking for people to like just pitch in and help. Do some camera work, so. Can't get me, Mr. Shark. Oh, damn! Can't get me when I'm in the cage. That was smooth. Thanks, bro. As smooth as ice. <laughs> you're as smooth as ice! <laughs> and you're as smooth as ice! You're as smooth as ice, and you sacrifice my eyes. <laughs> That's so unfunny, it's funny. That's my favorite type of funny. Oh, oh, speak of the devil. Where are the boomerangs to praise Christ? Um, we haven't gotten those yet, but those are very important later on. You found five Bibles! <laughs> you, you won't see me stop eating no ribs, either. <laughs> Gotta have them ribs. And pussy, too. Don't melt. Thanks, Barack. In a Who's phone call? Calling Who's me? calling you? My sister's calling me. Oh, here we go. Hello? Alright, sorry, that was my that was my sister. Your I'm... big fat sister. <laughs> Ryan, she's not fat. Don't call her that. She looks like a fucking basketball, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she does. I'm like, I'm not you're not wrong. My sister's gonna watch that and be really upset. <laughs> I don't look like a basketball. <laughs> Why would he say that? She starts looking in the mirror and turning around. What the- Honey, I don't- I don't- <sighs> Is she calling me honey or her husband? Your dad. What? That'd be a weird family dynamic if my sister called my dad honey. Yeah, it's called incest. It's called South Carolina. <laughs> I love how it's like, it's called incest. No, that's just South Carolina. Oh, <laughs> uh, we- Okay, we, Matt. We, we don't even have a name for it. <laughs> it's just natural. It's called just cousin loving. 
Ain't nothing wrong with kissing a cousin. Really, though, people make such a big deal about kissing your cousins. It's not a big deal. Dude, you're not, like, super related to your cousins. Like, so what if they're, like, directly kind of related to your parent? Why, why are you directly related to them? Makes no sense. Exactly. They're not related. Like, they didn't come out of my mom. They came out of my mom's sister or brother. So it's not that weird. <laughs> Damn it, I want to kiss my sweet cousin. <laughs> I hope your whole family watches this one episode at a family reunion. No, oh, that God, like, like my family's never seen my stuff before, like my extended family. Like, oh man, what? Let, let, let's watch what what Matthew's been up to these days with his whatever he's doing on the internet. And they pick this episode and it's just me talking about like kissing my cousin. How it's normal. <laughs> it's normal in South Carolina. Hey, that maybe maybe that'll open up some some doors for me then. I think they just nod to the beat of the drum because they'd see that nothing was wrong. They'd be like, he's just speaking facts. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's not wrong. <laughs> he's got a point. <laughs> At least he's using his YouTube channel to spread the good word. And for those of you who have fucked a family member, we're not judging you. Yes, we are. We're not judging you. You can fuck whoever you want. It's a free country. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure incest is illegal, by the way. Uh, pff, the government's trying to get in the way of our sexual lives? Yes. That seems pretty dumb. Dude, we should go to an incest rally in South Carolina. Do they have those? Do you think they've ever had an incest rally? I'm gonna look it up. Oh, was there an incest rally? No, there's this like high school prank where, uh, okay, this is, hold on, this is a good one. Minnesota's Roseman High had an awesome idea for a prank at this year's winter pep rally. Just awesome. Blindfolded all the sports captains and have them make out with people. And the prank part is that they're making out with their parents who aren't blindfolded. What? Footage of the assembly shows a scene that would make even Sigmund Freud cringe. Why the fuck? Dad's man, that's kissing a... daughters, mothers kissing what sons. What the fuck is wrong with them? That's the so weird. These are not just innocent pecks on the lips. The parents are intimately lip locking their children for several <laughs> seconds. All One right, even it's... progresses to <laughs> rolling around on the gym. What? What the fuck? Dude. Is this real? No, there's no way. Because first of all, who would come up with that joke? Second of all, like, how would the parents, how would they get enough parents to even go along with that? Like, yeah, hey, I got this great idea for a joke. It's where you make out with your sister. Do you see, like, how the mom, that, like, the mullet mom is going at it? Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. Wow, I, mom, you made out with me. That was funny, wasn't it? It would have been funny if they got to make out with someone and then they switched it out. Yeah, that's, with the, that's the, the joke. You don't actually make them make out with <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm trying God. to maybe I'm misunderstanding and that was the joke. But no, I saw no, a video I, they were of making the... out with their parents. <laughs> Wait a second, I look closer in the video. I see you and your mom <laughs> going at it just but you're you're in the bleachers, you're not a part of the break. <laughs> <laughs> just in the background making out Well it's a joke, everyone else is doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't get it was a prank, dude. Relax. I, I was pranked. My, I was being pranked by my mom. <laughs> and by there, and you have that mom. fucking stupid smile. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> what? Well, it's a fucking. Oh, so it's, it's not weird when they do it, but it's weird when I do it. Okay, whatever, guys. You can't pick and choose all your arguments. All right, let's uh, let's go get some more of those sweet collectibles, Ryan. What do you say? Or we could just go to McDonald's oh, and right. keep the screen going. Okay, cool. Let's go. <laughs> what if we just caught that and uploaded that? <laughs> like, it's no, just yeah. silent. It's silent for a whole, like, half an hour, and then it just, when we give it, I was like, Hey guys, we got McDonald's! <laughs> and then it just, like, when I say McDonald's, the super mega outro it, it squiggly. Ends right there. Yeah. yeah, that's the end. I honestly wouldn't mind doing that for, like, an April Fool's thing. Or whatever. Just do it regularly. <laughs> yeah. It April Fool's. People would oh, still watch it. Oh, well, these coconuts do look pretty big. They were the last things that several teenagers saw as they sunk to the bottom of a, 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 a nefarious cavern. He leaves in the fuck up. <laughs> What's he up to these days? Is he still making videos? I hope so. We need to have. We need to binge. We binged him like that one time. We binged him probably for like over an hour. What was definitely. his name? I haven't seen him in ages. Is it Gloomy House? Did he just stop making videos? I don't know. Probably just have. Did we subscribe to him? I was subscribed to him. He was subscribed to Super Mega too. When I was trying to get a custom debit card with a picture on it. They were really strict about what picture I put on there. They wouldn't let me put anything that was like already a thing. I tried to put I, Bill, I tried to put Bill Cosby on mine and they turned <laughs> it down. I'd also like to point out that when I was trying to put Bill Cosby on the card, this was pre-rape. This was before Bill Cosby was known as a rapist. No way. No, it was. You did it like out here, I thought. No, dude, I was I was I, my friends and I back in college had a big like meme about Bill Cosby. I, I bought his autograph off eBay and everything. There's there's something. The barracudas. In there. 
No, I, I feel like there's... There's treasures. The like constant tension of a shit trying to protrude through my asshole. Is that is that occurring right now? Yeah. Oh, just a little bit. Go take care of that. I will after this episode. Okay. Well, I don't. I need to get inside this. And shit. the outro screen will be the sound of my shit. Are you gonna go record that? If you put it in the outro screen not, of the episode. I'm not putting that in. <laughs> Ryan, people watch this with their elderly grandmothers. Yeah, they'll be dead soon. You know, someone actually is <laughs> with her elderly grandmother. <laughs> this just created like this awkward silence between the two. <laughs> and now they're just like, oh, well, that was just this sad little. Like, what moment. if their grandma is actually dying and they had to just turn this off? <laughs> if if that if that is the case. Well, then don't watch Super Mega when you're spending time with your dying grandmother. Well, maybe that's how they bond. You can't judge them. I can. I got the- it's right here. It's just the swimming controls are not good for tight places. That's the thing that bothers me, when it's like, when you feel bad controls, it's like, the, it's not like they added water into the game and all of a sudden they're like, oh fuck, this fucked up the whole- the physics of everything. They did the physics from scratch of how things would control. Yeah, I know. So how do bad controls exist? <laughs>